Hello everyone and welcome to our very first lesson on getting started with Google Gemini. My name is Alex from Uzi Hub Tech and I'm thrilled to guide you through the basics of this amazing AI tool. Ready to dive in? Let's get started. Right here on the screen is the Gemini main interface. It's designed to be super clean and easy to use. See this big chat box. This is where all the magic happens. To start a brand new conversation, you simply click the new chat button, usually located at the top left corner. It's that simple. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is Gemini? Well, it's Google's next-generation AI model, built from the ground up to be incredibly capable. It evolved from Google's earlier projects like Lambda and Palm to combining their strengths to become a powerful and creative partner for all sorts of tasks. One of the best features is right here on the left-hand side, your conversation history. Gemini automatically saves every chat you have. This is fantastic because you don't have to worry about losing your work. You can see all your past conversations neatly organized. If you were working on something and had to step away, you can just click on that chat and pick up right where you left off. You can even rename these conversations to keep everything tidy. Before we go any further, let's talk about two golden rules for using any AI. Rule number one. Never ever share personal or sensitive information. Think of it like a public conversation. Don't type in your address, phone number, passwords, or any private details. Rule number two, always double check important information. While Gemini is incredibly smart, it's not perfect. If you're using it for facts, figures, or critical data for a school project or work, always verify the answers with another reliable source. Being a responsible AI user is key to getting the most out of it safely. All right, let's try it out. I'm going to type a simple question into the chat box. How about, what are three fun facts about the moon? I'll hit enter and, wow, look at that. Almost instantly, Gemini gives us a clear, well-structured answer. It tells us the moon is drifting away from Earth, it has moonquakes, and it doesn't have a true dark side. How cool is that? You can see just how quick and easy it is to get information. And that's a wrap for our introduction to the Gemini Core interface. We've seen how to start a chat, where to find our history, and the most important safety rules to remember. Plus, we got some fun moon facts. You're now ready to start exploring on your own. Thank you so much for watching. In our next lesson, E2, we'll explore one of Gemini's most exciting features, multimodal magic, where we'll use images and more. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. See you in the next lesson.